Hi there. It's Mrs. Flynn. And Mr. Rops. We're working on volume and surface area. We're talking the volume of a cuboid is 125 centimeters cubed. All right. Well, first we have to know what a cuboid is. Ooh, it reminds me of the board in Star Trek. Do you ever see that? No. No. Uh -huh. no. I'm showing my Star age. Star Trek, no. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so a cuboid is just what we call a cube. Yeah. So all the sides are the same. So... I don't know, I, we can start off by, since it's telling us that the volume, we could write the equation for our volume of a cube. It's area of base times height. Sweet. Well, we know that the area of base is like side times side, and the height is also the same as that side. Yeah. So can I just call it x this time? Sure. x times x times x, which is x, x cubed. Sweet. And if we know that the volume is 125 centimeters cubed, Substitute that in. Mm -hmm. And a couple different ways we can do this. Maybe we already know our cubes. We know that 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. All right. Or another thing we could do is take the cube root of it. All right. And our calculator will do that for us. So I'll just show you really quick here. We can go to math. Math. And number 4. And then type in 125. And it gives you 5. Right, so x is 5. So the length of our side of our cuboid is 5. Now we need to find the surface area of the cube. Well, the surface area, if we remember, is just there's six faces and they're all x times x. So x squared. And so we plug our 5 in times 5 squared. And we get all together six sets of 25, which is 150. 150. And our unit? I better label that. Of course, is centimeters squared because we're down to area. All Super. Right. All right, let's hammer out one more example there. Okay, so a double cone is inscribed in the cylinder shown. Two identical cones upside down inside the cylinder. The surface area of the base is 49 pi centimeters squared. So one of those blue things, those blue things are 49 centimeters squared. Let's go ahead and write that in. Surface area equals. Nice. The height of the cylinder is equal to the diameter of the base. Ooh. The height. Right. Let's call that x. Oh. Okay. Is equal to the diameter. Mm -hmm. Of the base. Or I could say this is a base as well, so. All right. X. Okay, so the, um, find the volume of the space inside the cylinder but outside the double cones. Ooh. Inside the cylinder <clears throat> but outside the double cones. All right. So it's kind of like an hourglass kind of scenario where the sand is inside those double cones and the air is all in the glass area between the hourglass things, if that makes any sense. Okay, so. In order to do this, we need to find, I think we need to find the radius. Okay, well, <coughs> given that the surface area of the base is 49 pi, well, we well, could easily find the radius from that. Right. Because this shape here is a circle. Super. And we know that the area of a circle is? Pi r squared. So let's just go ahead and substitute. Now, this is a big question that's asked a lot. Surface area and area. Well, they're the same. Mm -hmm. So this is 49 pi equals pi r squared. To isolate our variable, divide by pi. Oops. 49 is our squared, and we already know our perfect squares. R can't be negative, so, so we get positive. 7. Okay, so there's our radius. So does that help us with other things? It does, because now I know that x is going to be... Oh. Twice the radius, which is 14. Yeah. The diameter is 14. All right. Well, that's good. Okay. Well, so what's the height of one of those cones going to be then? Ooh, that's a good question. Right. This is our height here. Right. If they're both identical. Then so they got to be split in half. Right. All this right. This has got to be 7. Got to be 7. All right. So to do this problem, maybe we should find the volume of the whole entire cylinder and then of one of those cones. Okay, so let's see. We'll start off with the cylinder. Volume of a cylinder. Volume mm -hmm. equals? Pi r squared h. 
carry the base times the height. The area right. of the base times, times the, the height. height. Okay. We already know that the base has the area of? 49 pi. And our height is? 14. All right. So the total volume, let's use our calculator. Do we want to keep it in pi form? Let's keep it in pi form. Okay. 49 times 14. When we keep it in pi form, it's exact. Yep, I'm a big fan of exact values. There we go. That's pi. the volume of the cylinder. All right. So we're not done there. No, we need to find a volume of one of those cones. If we find the volume of one cone, then we can just double it. Okay. So let's see. Volume of a cone is one third. Uh, area of the base. Pi r squared. Times the height. All right. So let's see. One third, we already know the area of our base is All right. 49 pi. And the height, we have to be careful here because we're just doing the height of this small cone. All right, I wasn't going to see that. So that's times 7. All right. Again, leaving this in exact form 49 times 7 divided by 3. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let's change it to a fraction. Let's do that. Okay. You know how to do that with your oh, calculator? No, no, no. You I go math. And number one is fraction. Hit enter. Ah, fancy. And enter. It'll take your answer, put it in fraction. So 343 oh, over 3. All right. And so you can do that trick on your calculator and you convince your teacher that you really know how to do fractions. <laughs> it's a good trick. All right. All right. So now we have the volume of cone and the volume of a cylinder. Okay, so now we have two cones, though, that we have to consider. So the total volume between the two is going to be the volume of the cylinder minus two cones. Okay, now let's just substitute in what we know. Okay. Cylinder is? 686 pi. And minus 2 times 343 over 3 pi. Pi. Okay, so I have 686 pi. Clean this up a little bit by multiplying by. Oops. Just double it. Uh -huh. Oh, I can know that. That's 686. Oh, yeah, I should know that too, huh? Minus 686 over 3 pi. Okay. Adding our fractions. Common denominator. Yes. So we have to put this one over 3. Yeah, I don't know that one in my head. Oh, I better clear that one off, though. 686 times 3. It's going to end with an 8. Uh -huh. 2058. Pi minus 686 over 3 pi. So that's just minus 686. So 1372 over, over 3, three pi. pi. I wonder if that divides nicely by 3. Let's see. No, not nicely. Let's change it to a fraction. All right, that's a good trick. <laughs> Whoever talks to that really smart. <laughs> it's they already the reduced. Uh, okay. okay. So what is our units though? Um, if we go back up to the top of the page, we can see that it was centimeters squared. So this will be centimeters cubed. All right, great. And now believe it or not, that's a famous problem. Ooh. I forget the details, but it's it's historical and famous. So oh. if anyone wants to find out about it, let us know.